What is up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, today we're doing 1987 uh, Basketball the Rookie. So uh, why buy this box? A couple reasons. One is uh, you can get a die cut of Kobe. Um, so like Jordan or LeBron, uh, soon to be, or uh, I mean, any any of the amazing, uh, like, transcended the game players. Uh, die cuts are hard to grade. So if you get a die cut of those players long term, you're going to have some value somewhat. So uh, got this box. Also, it says uh, two vintage uh, rookie cards in each box. So they're promoting this Larry Bird, which uh, Magic Irving, which uh, I doubt. But uh, you never know. It's from 1987. You can see they were trying to get 10 bucks for this back in the day in uh, 1988. So, um, but uh, I've seen a couple of these break online. They don't seem to brick. So hopefully we can uh, just go straight through the break. Looks fine. My goal card is that Kobe Bryant rookie card. Uh, I'm sorry, not rookie card. Kobe Bryant die cut. Uh, apologies. And then... Um, I mean, I guess if they ever put one in there, if we could pull that card, that would be uh, pretty amazing. It says scoreboard all over it. It is factory sealed, so that's a good sign. Um, and uh, But most of the time I see those, I've seen a couple breaks of this uh, online, and it seems like they just give you Tim Hardaway over and over. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully they uh, weren't, you know, they put at least a couple of those out there, and maybe we got that box. Who knows? But uh, but doing a lot of uh, mid-90s basketball and I have a lot of, I, it's weird. I love like 80s baseball, mid 90s basketball, and then modern football. So that's uh, kind of where I'm at right now. Um, so hopefully these aren't bricking. Um, you know, we have our own style. If they do brick, then we do our slide cuts, stack to stack. But I, I don't think they, sh they shouldn't be from what I've seen. And hopefully we can just roll right through this. So the goal card, like I said, is that uh, Kobe. Yeah, they feel pretty loose. Kobe Bryant die cut for me. Uh, it's kind of hard to read, but it says uh, odds uh, per pack. It says uh, Dean's list is 1 in 5, vintage card 1 in 18, varsity club 1 in 36, rookie die cut number 1, 1 in 75. Maybe that's why that one has a little value. So, um, you know, let's go ahead and break through this. And, you know, Chloe Bryant's rookie year was 96, 97. So, you know, this is not, uh, as far as, I don't think this is considered as rookie card at all, but... Yeah, so these are going to be nice to slide through. There is a, a base Kobe as well, and, you know, we'll collect all the Kobe's we can at this time on this channel. Uh, so this Harold Dean, 1997-98 uh, uh, Roy Kent, 1997, uh, uh, There's Tony Delk, so we want one like this. Uh, it says all-rookie team, I think, for uh, Kobe. It could be wrong. There's Ron Mercer uh, and then Mark Sanford. So pretty interesting box. You know, we like to do some of these off-cut boxes as well. Uh, keeps it interesting here, and then... Uh, if there is obviously a, uh, luckily if there's a Jordan, a Kobe, a LeBron, a really high end Shaq or something like that in basketball, or you know newer at this time would be uh, Zion or Morant, that would be uh, you know that's fun. And then here's a back in the day throwback Mutombo, so that's cool, but I'm not sure what the value is going to be. I like Mutombo, so I'll just add that to collection. And these are different looking. There's Lorenzo White and Danny Forson. They're not like the most like spectacular but they're not like annoying to look at I, I sometimes you'll break cards and you just don't like looking at them like 1999 tops i think it's like all orange or yellow maybe 98 i can't remember but one of those years is like bright orange it's really really annoying to look at so to add some cards you love so players you love and like a different look i like to do that as well so um i mean we've broken that box on here so <laughs> i'm not judging I, we're fiends we'll we'll break anything here uh, back in the day, Alonzo Mourning. That's pretty cool. And it's interesting because I haven't done this, so it's nice to look at. There's John Wallace, Keith Van Horn, Mark Jackson, Antoine Walker, of course, and then uh, God Shamagod. Is that his real name? I don't remember this player, but if that is his real name, that is an, a pretty amazing name. <laughs> I, I really drew I really drew dead on that one because <laughs> my parents did not name me God Shamagod. God Shamagod. Um... So I'm going to have to talk with them about that. There's uh, Tony Gonzalez. So this is kind of cool. You know, Tony Gonzalez, the uh, Hall of Fame tight end in football. This is a basketball card. So he was a big basketball player uh, in college. So that's pretty nice. There's uh, Tony uh, Battier, Ron Mercer, and then Ray Allen. So this is a nice card. I'll take that. Uh, I still collect Ray Allens personally. So uh, I was really, I was lucky because I was like super young and in. Super young. I was young and in. Uh, to cars, you know, I was, you know, uh, maybe 11 or less, uh, 1996, 1997. So, um, 
I was uh, getting Kobe's rookies left and right. Ray Allen was a big prospect as well, so uh, got a bunch of him. So I still like to collect uh, Ray Allen personally. Uh, there's Tim Thomas right there, so that's cool. Oh, did I? So this says, okay, so <laughs> this says 1987. Okay, I get it. 1987, 1998, uh, Roy Kennedy, Tim Thomas, which is cool. So let's go find God. That must be the name of the card for God, Sam God. Uh, where are you? Uh, no, it just says Providence God. So maybe, I thought that was like maybe a type of insert card, but I guess that is really his name. That's pretty cool. Uh, so there's Roy Rogers, all rookie. So Dean's List. There's Matumbo. This is pretty cool, actually. Uh, it looks like old school, like um, you go to like a high-end college, you know, you go to Washington and uh, D.C. or something, and they have like that that little weathered tincture type uh, patina look. So and it is Mutombo, which I still, I mean, I collect Mutombo because, you know, he's a great player. I think he's a little underrated, to be honest, but uh, people who know what he's done and what his career has been is pretty cool. And we got the base card of this, but we got Dean's List card. So that's cool. Those aren't guaranteed. And uh, it's a player that I really like, so that's great. I mean, it's Trace McGrady, that's great. But it could have been like James Collins, I guess, and I'm not really into that. Uh, Stefan Marbury and Johnny Taylor. So yeah, some cool, some cool players in this box. And we got uh, Tony Gonzalez. That's cool. I think that's my first basketball, Tony Gonzalez. So we got something interesting coming up here. Um, there's uh, Tim Thomas. And uh, here's uh, Jacques Vaughn. Uh, varsity club wow these cards look intense i wish i wonder who else they have like this uh so that's Jacques Vaughn. i think it's how you pronounce his name uh and he's a guard for uh kansas but look at the uh really beautiful hardwood into the basketball and then all this foil so uh i don't have any of his cards i'm pretty sure this card's value is pretty low but i, I anytime i get cool look at insert uh, i'll sleeve it you know why not it's only a penny and uh, so I don't know who else comes in this set, but this is a pretty awesome looking card. Shocked. Uh, there's Danny Fortson again. Tim Duncan. So that's great. So Tim Duncan actually uh, was a rookie this year. So that's fantastic. So this is a Tim Duncan rookie. So we can save that. Tracy McGrady as well. So we'll sleeve that up. Uh, and then we'll come back around for that Tracy McGrady. Hard thing is when there's black borders, you can see there's a little whitening. These cards aren't sticking together in any way, but, you know, that's his rookie year. So this is considered one of his rookie cards. So that's great. I mean, it's not when he's in his uh, San Antonio duds, but that's cool. So take all those Tim Duncans and Tracy McGrady's. But if we can get that Kobe die cut, that'd be cool. There's an old school uh, back in the day, Glenn Robinson. So just kind of showing you. Um, don't remember all these. I remember Sharif Dul Rahim. He was uh, 1986, 1987 as well. He was with Antoine Walker, Ray Allen, Alan Iverson, Kobe Bryant, the whole class. So they don't really mean anything to anyone else, but to me, he's just like someone I collected a bunch of that didn't pan out. And there's uh, back in the day, Rashid Wallace, Allen Iverson, but it's a checklist. So still take that, it's, you know, Allen Iverson, Keith Booth, Marcus Camby. So this is pretty cool for like an oddball box. I mean, I know scoreboard is kind of well known, not like tops or anything. It's got some uh, good name players. We've gotten some uh, off, some really odd boxes on this channel. And sometimes you only have like literally two cards in the whole box, two players, and just a bunch of variants. It's really strange. Uh, Joe Smith back in the day. Uh, another Tim Duncan. Cool, but there's a checklist. So it looks like they have the variant of the checklist and then not the checklist. So uh, that's cool. Because I can see we got an Allen Iverson rookie team that uh, is not the checklist. So we want Kobe of this as well. Take all the Kobe's. Just hang on to them for 10 years, 15 years, see which ones become the valuable ones. <laughs> I mean, they're all valuable now already, but, you know, the most rare. I don't know how many of these boxes are printed, so a die cut Kobe from this box, you know, could potentially be like the car later. Uh, who knows? Boom. But there's a Kobe Bryant. And I'll take that uh, all rookie team. So not his rookie year, but he says 1986, 1997 on the front. So it still feels like a pretty cool. I mean, he was just coming into the league rookie card. So that's great. And he uh, is in his Lakers duds, but you could see they like Photoshopped the logo off. So actually it's kind of interesting because I like that he's in his purple and gold. So it feels like a legit rookie card. 
I didn't even realize that until I was talking right now that they took that off because, and then Rayon as well, because they only had the pictures from them. He was in high school before and then his pictures from uh, the NBA. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of like an NBA card. And then we also got a Ray Allen uh, Dean's List, which is super, super sweet. So I like these Dean List cards. They, uh, I like the patina they do. Uh, I don't know if like PSA does a lot of these, so they might rate it super low like you you made this mess. But it looks pretty old school, kind of old, old timey. So that's pretty nice. I didn't know that we can get another one. And then another Tim Duncan. That's pretty fun. Uh, rookie card. Uh, so that's uh, that's interesting to me. And we're getting a bunch of rookie cards for Tim Duncan. A bunch of Ray Allen. So it's a fun box. It's Kerry Kittles uh, for sure. They're not breaking together. <laughs> so, uh, it's been a nightmare. Sometimes you go through those runs. It's been a nightmare right now. There's another Tony Gonzalez right there. Uh, Rashid Wallace throwback. Tim Thomas. Ron Mercer. Another Ray Allen. So we're getting a lot of these. Uh, I mean, they're great names, so I'm, I'm happy. But I guess the uh, the checklist was kind of <clears throat> short. So maybe we'll get multiple Kobe's too. That'd be cool. Take a couple of those. Uh, Ed Gray. Joe Smith. Okay, this is a legit. Uh, so this is one of our... It's funny because it's uh, Nick Van Exel or... Uh, uh, Tim Hardaway is what I've seen a lot of. So this is a real upper deck card. And it is of uh, Nick Van Exel. It is his rookie card. It's a uh, 91, 92, 93, 94 uh, upper deck. So this is what you'd get in that. Cut looks pretty good. I'm a Nick Van Exel fan because like I said, I'm out here in LA. But, um, you know, value is probably not there too much. This is the Trace McGrady. Another Tim Duncan. Stefan Marbury. Another McGrady. I'm at the get to go back through these McGrady's because I I still collect uh Tracy McGrady a lot as well so let's go ahead I can see Sharif on the back there let's see if we can't get one of these die cuts um Scotty Pippen back in the day that's kind of cool I know these are like this set's card of that but kind of interesting um you know sometimes you buy Allen Iverson to back it up these oddball boxes and you never know what you're going to get and uh, sometimes they uh, are lame and this one actually is uh not lame it's pretty fun uh and then you know you spend the money and you're like oh why did i buy that box i'm gonna hate it but actually this was that one where i i thought that and i'm tim duncan pretty happy dean's list brevin knight so brevin knight's a good player and then we got it back to back without that um and uh so this is like what I thought we could get. But the fact that we got a Ray Allen, it's pretty cool. I'll still keep that separate for now. Uh, Marcus Camby, Otis Thorpe. Uh, yeah, this is, this is cool, man. I, uh, I'm i happy that I uh, decided to buy this box. Scotty Pippen throwback, but a different picture. It's cool. So those uh, Scotty Pippins are nice. Okay, so yeah, those Scotty Pippins are cool. Personal, definitely personal collection type deal. Uh, take a couple, couple Kobe's, multiple Kobe's. We're we're about halfway through the box here. It's old school Clyde. I mean, when they say back in the day, and they have like the logo of the specific like new box, you know, they're not those cards, but still fun to like throw them in. You know, you have a book. Then this game, this this is fun. This is a cool box. Uh, you know, you're flipping through your pages. There's Vinny. And, uh, uh, and you know, you'll see him next to him. And they just kind of look different. They kind of cut up the cut up the book. All right, so this is our last pack for the second stack. So we're halfway through the box. And honestly, I'm uh, this is a really fun break. And uh, Damien Stoudemire, another Tim Duncan. So there's so many, I'm, I'm going to have to sleep up after. So the value on those, Eric Dampier, we did a... Man, we did an, a Pacific Power break in 1996, looking for Kobe uh, Gold Foil Rookies, which was a really fun break. The box was in immaculate condition. I was very happy. This guy right here showed up in spades. Every insert, every type of color card. Like, if we had gotten that one for Kobe, holy smokes. But uh, I'll see about those Tim, Dun Tim Duncans just after because we're getting so, so many. But um, super fun break. And, yeah, the, the value probably isn't going to be there uh when you have this many in each box you know i'm sure the print run was plenty but um you know take those and keep them and you know maybe in a uh, hundred years one of your ancestors will uh make a killing
Uh, so this is another Dean's List. Wow, look at that one. I find it interesting. I like that patina look. So that's cool. I'll still set those aside. Uh, Marcus Camby, Otis Hill. So got plenty of packs. So one Kobe in. I would like to get two of those and uh, that that die cut of Kobe, of course. But that's a, that's a tall order. Tim Thomas, Tim Duncan again. Uh, but someone's got to get them. Someone's got to pull them, right? So we'll see. I mean, Tim Duncan might actually... I don't know. I, I believe that, like, Kobe insert, uh, especially a die cut, long-term will have a lot, a lot of value. But this is... Uh, this is Tim Duncan's rookie year. So a die cut rookie Tim Duncan. Um, you know, that could be, I guess, potentially worth more. So I guess I'll take either. Uh, but I'm, a, you know, I'm a Kobe guy like most. I think not most people, but I, I am. This is a cool uh, Glenn Robinson. So Scotty Pippen again. So that'd be my first choice. But if we got a Tim Duncan, I would not be upset about that. Wallace again, Tim Duncan again. Yeah, has a bunch of those. So now it's like you get so so many that uh, little sequencing. I mean, these aren't all Tim Duncan, but a lot of these are Tim Duncan. <laughs> so you know the value on these are uh, they're gonna be pretty weak for a long time. This is Bobby Jackson, Tony Delk. Cool, Tim Duncan's Dean's List. That's cool. That's different. That's a different, you know, we see we pulled a lot of this card. Uh, but we got a lot more Dean's List. Maybe it was one in six. Was that what it said? Um, and we now we have a Dean's List. This one's in uh, pristine Dean's List, uh, new school. Um, so that's great. Team Duncan uh, insert, I guess. Uh, they have to print those out and put them back in. And then followed up by another separate Tim Duncan. Kerry Kittle. So that's cool. Makes it a little extra special. When you thought you had enough, you didn't. All right, there is Charles Smith, John Wallace, thick card, Mark Sanford to finish out that pack. And now this is the last pack for the third stack. And let's see, is Joe Smith again? Tim Duncan again? Did I pass up Tim Duncan like that? Maybe. Uh, Danny Fortson. So we'll get into our last stack. No die cut um, sighting yet. Hopefully we can uh, do that. Or at least a second Kobe Bryant would uh, make me feel pretty good. I guess since there's not... doesn't seem like there's that many compared to Tim Duncan. I guess that could make those the value on those a little higher. We're getting a lot of these. Ron Mercer, Dean's List. Um, we're getting a lot of those uh, Scotty Pippins. But only one Kobe of the uh, all-rookie team, so I guess that could keep the value. Lonzo Mourning. Sharif Abdul-Rahim. So we can get multiple of those all-rookies in one one pack, which is good. Good sign. That varsity club in the back corner there, I think looks sweet. Too bad it's not a bigger name. Bobby Jackson. Okay, here's our other uh, throw-in. It's Chris Webber um, card. So here's a uh, really... You can see it's off-cut because, like, this skybox compared to the bottom there. But uh, this is a uh, 1994 NBA Hoops Chris Webber. So this is our other uh, throw-in. So uh, that's cool. I didn't see Chris Webber, but um, we seem to get a lot from that era in these boxes. Like, they only go back a few years. Uh, so I don't know if it was just, like, a marketing... They didn't really throw in that uh, some of those really old school rookie cards. Uh, maybe one ever, but um, it's kind of cool that you can have the opportunity. I'll have to look at that set list again. If we get another box, then I'll read out the set list of those uh, throwback rookies. But I don't, I don't remember seeing it, so maybe it's maybe it could be anybody. Uh, Tony McDice, another Tim Duncan, another Akeem, another Tim Duncan, Kerry Kittles, yeah, so. Yeah, boatload of Tim Duncan rookie cards. I mean, it's like uh, anything else. Like if it's their actual rookie year, then it's considered their rookie card if they go into the NBA that year. So, uh, you know, it's a little, there's a Clyde. Nice Kobe number two. It's a little less sought after. Uh, not everyone likes to think that way. Uh, but you'll find like 
uh, Kobe Bryant or like other players that um, in 1996, if they had a card out that year, the year that they were going into the NBA draft and got drafted, that uh, a lot of people like to consider those other rookie type cards or more rare. Um, some people hate it because they're like still in their college slash uh, high school duds, but if this is you know this is his rookie year, so I'm gonna consider all those Tim Duncan rookie cards. <laughs> uh, Tony Delk another dean's list so lorenzo coleman uh they got really fancy with those huh like someone really took the time on those uh dean's lists antoine walker oh i forgot to put it with the other ones but do that after so last three packs are still here with me we are uh growing the channel we appreciate the like and subscribe help us out with this project uh john wallace mark jackson yeah this god uh sham god again i mean it's an awesome name i'm like jealous <laughs> super jealous um but no die cut yet i mean we haven't even they're harder to get i think it was like one in every three boxes so so it's a roll of the dice that's for sure uh there's a stoudemire I feel they do this throwback from them in like arizona but it's like it's only two years back and make it look all old school tim thomas ray allen again johnny taylor so last pack Last pack magic. Oops. These go over here. Rookie. Uh, sorry, not rookie. Die cut. Kobe Bryant, number one card. Can we see it in this pack? Doesn't look like the die cut. We did get another uh, Tony G, though. Tony Gonzalez, Mutombo. Walter McCartney, another Tracy McGrady, another Tim Duncan. Stefan Marbury, another McGrady. So uh, that is uh, 1997 uh, scoreboard. The. Uh, basketball the rookies so you can see there's some huge names in here and it is one of those ones where the set list is way lower uh they basically have some 96 and 97 players uh we got a bunch i mean it's an insane amount of uh big names in their college unis for the most part there's trace mcgrady tim duncan damian stoudemire claude drexler duncan hakeem duncan why is gerald honeycutt in there Howard oh, damn here sorry about that oh because i put a whole pack in here no offense, fellas. Keith Van Horn, no offense. Scotty Pippen. There's a original Chris Webber rookie. Uh, Scotty Pippen, Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan, Scotty, Glenn Rice, Tim Duncan. So, yeah, I mean, just a whole bunch of Tim Duncans, a whole bunch of Ray Allens, um, and Allen Iverson cards as well. So, pretty. Uh, there's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. Uh, some of the bigger hits, though, for us, I think, is this Tim Duncan's Dean's List. So, we got a lot of this card, but only one Dean's List, which is cool. Dean's List Ray Allen, and a Dean's List uh, throwback Mutombo. So that's cool. We got two Kobe Bryant cards. Not the Kobe... We were I mean, we were looking for these, but we wanted the die cut. But they're still in great shape. They're still Kobe Bryant. Uh, and he's in his uh, purple and gold, which is great. We got this uh, Varsity Club. Amazing card. Too bad the name's not bigger. Uh, at pull as well. So uh, thanks for joining me. We're going to bring you a lot more basketball and other content. And we'll see you on uh, the next break. So